LibGDX project setup tool just had an update and it actually looks very good. Some new features that it includes is project templates, instant validation, and support for more JVM languages. Let me know in the comments below on what your thoughts are about the new setup tool. I will have a link in the description if you guys want to check out what has changed. As you can see here, Java 17 is now the new supported version when building your application. It also has a version range from Java 8 and 22 should now work. We also have new features that you can read again a lot of them are configurations that you can add towards your project. To get started with the new project, we click on get started. Then we go to setup instructions. Then we go down to the walkthrough setup. But for us, we're going to go to generate a project. Then we're going to click down GDX liftoff. And then it will bring us to this page. We want to select the jar or you can select the zip. The jar file will begin to download. As you can see, once on the desktop, we can go ahead and double click it. And then it will load this fancy menu. It looks very nice and professional. And then we can give our project name. So we'll call this race cars. And then our package name, which will be com.engine.cars. This is towards the main class. And then our main class name will be race cars. And then we can go ahead and click on project options. And this is where we can add add-ons. First, we have platform support, such as desktop. And we also have the list of supported platforms that you want to add for your application. Then we add languages. For now, we're just going to stick with Java, but you can use Kotlin or Scala. You also have extensions. And then down here, you can choose your template. This is something very new, and I actually really do appreciate when it starts to make an application. For us, we're going to choose a classic, but go ahead and experiment with these other templates. Then click on next. Then we can add third party libraries. So if you want to add Perlin noise, you can add noise. And then there's a whole bunch of noise libraries. Or you can search up the author and then go ahead and hit next. And then we want to set our libgdx version. We'll leave it as default, then our Java version, Java 17, and then our app version. And then if you want to add GUI assets, which adds a skin object and a texture atlas, you can do so. We'll leave this checked right now so we can add that in. Then you want to specify your project path by clicking on the folder icon. Then after when you configured your project, hit generate. And then you'll see this start to generate. And then as you can see, your project is successfully if you have this menu. Once we're inside IntelliJ, you'll see this readme file, which shows all the Gradle commands. This is something that's very helpful for beginners to understand which commands to run for the application. Now we need to add the run configurations. So we go up to the top left where it says current file, edit configurations, hit the plus icon, application, give our application name, we'll call this main. And then we specify our language version, 17, our module, LWJGL3 main. And then we click on the main class and this should appear. If not, you can go to the project and find it. Click on this, hit OK, then hit apply, then hit OK. And then now run your application. And if you did everything successfully, a libgdx window should appear. Now let's take a look at our project structure. As you can see here, if we click on our directory, we have a list of other directories with inside. So we have the asset. This is where we put all of our game assets for our application. And then we have the core. This is where you put all your code for your application. And then we have LWJGL3. This right here is for your desktop. So as you can see, this is where it was created for our libgdx scene. So we can run that and it will show the UI skin. And we also have a assets.txt, which contains all the list of the directories for our UI. Now you might notice a change if you're familiar with the old project setup. As you can see, the LWJGL3 is now this title. So before it was desktop and now we also have a class. The class is still the same. As you can see, this is loaded in the using a texture. And then we go to the PNG file. It looks just like this, but this is still the same, but just with a different image. All right, everyone, that wraps up everything in today's video. If you want to learn more about LibGDX liftoff setup tool, we'll have a link in the description so you can check out this repository. Again, there's a lot of useful features that you can probably be more excited about for your application and use, such as executable jar files out of the box, which is very handy when it comes to publishing or deploying your application. Again, I will put this in the link in the description. Please be sure to check out the Discord of the LibGDX community. There's some helpful people there that are willing to give advice and as well as to even recommend sharing your own projects there. All right, everyone. Have a good one.